Hi guys, it's Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner. Today I'm going to be using this lovely die set, which I think is no longer available, which is surprising because I just got it. So it must have been something on clearance and I didn't realize it. Anyway, I'm planning on making a card that is inspired by one that I saw um, Amanda from Pear Blossom Press make. It's going to be a light up card and I can't wait to show you what I make. I hope it turns out the way I expect. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. For my um, background, I'm going to be using 3D embossing folder. This one is called Tufted. Just got this one in. It was on sale. Yes, got to pick up the things that are on sale. I'm also using the fluted frames for my background for my little deer. And I've cut out all the pieces. So now I just need to start assembling. Then, once I get main pieces put together for my little deer, then I can start working on the light up mechanism. we go so we've got the top part of our deer's head we've also got this lighter piece here and it's basically just going to overlap I know the colors are real close but I'm gonna go with it let's go ahead and add the antlers I'm also going to make a Santa hat. <laughs> I love this. So we've got a little Santa hat and we've got the the um, white part for the brim of the hat. So I'll go ahead and put that on there. Um, next, I'm going to go ahead and put this guy onto my card here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and adhere all of that down. I'm adhering everything down flat because this part of the card is actually going to be popped up on foam so we can have our light up mechanism behind it. There we go. And then I can put my hat right there on my deer. That's cute. I think I wanted a little bit off kilter. There we go. And then I can put the little pom pom on the end. So next what I need to do is find my pokey tool. And I need to basically create a place for us to be able to see the light through. Okay. And I'm going to do that all the way through here. Through the end and through the back up, the back of this other card. Okay, so now we've got a decent size hole. And that is so that I can have my little deers have the nose light up. That's gonna be so super cute. And then we can put this on top once I get the light in place. We've got a couple of little eyes that I need to put on there too. Put a little bit of glue on the back of these eyelashes and then I can place those down. Okay, so we've got all of that. That looks fabulous. So now I need to create our light up mechanism. So what I'm going to use to create my light, to make the light nose light up, is one light. This is from Pear Blossom Press, and it basically is a little mini flashlight. So we've got our little LED on the end. You've got your battery, and when you push the button, it lights up. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to position that little light right behind where we've got the little hole poked. And then just decide where do I want to actually tell them that it's going to need to be, that they're going to need to push the button. So that looks perfect. And then when I put the red over the top, it's going to light up red. So that's going to be fun. So what I'm going to do now is I need, I need a pencil <laughs> to decide. I need to decide where I want my, where's my pencil? Um, here we go. Anyway, I have to decide where do I want them to press? Where do I want to put my button? I also need to make sure that my little mechanism isn't going to be seen. So if I put it there, that looks about right. Let me just test. Where's the button? Oh, there it is. If I put the button up there, that's a little bit high. If I put it here, it shows a little bit. So 
You just m play with it until you know exactly where. And now I'm going to just put a little, a little dot there so I know where I can stamp. Um, Pear Blossom Press has also come out with some new stamps. This one basically has all the things that you need to put on your cards to say what the interaction is. So I've got push, pull, press, scratch off, press here, remove, and then, um, and just push. So I think I'm gonna go with, let's go with the scripty push. I like that. Actually, I think I'm gonna go with press here. This little guy right there. I'm gonna go with that one. So I'm gonna just do a gentle little st stamp right there on the deer's cheek, right? Okay, so that is where I want that to go. Now I need to actually install it. To do that, I'm gonna use some double-sided adhesive, some double stick tape, and just tape that right over the battery pack. Okay, now we can position this behind our little deer. Again, we want the LED to be right there on that hole. And then we need the button to be right behind the press here. And then we need to test it. And I think it's actually a little high. Okay, so it's positioned just right behind the nose. So now I can press that into place right over the button, right over rather the battery pack, and the mechanism's done. That's all it takes for that. Let's go ahead and adhere our little nose on. Okay, so I decided to do something a little bit different, and I think it's going to work, but I'm not sure how it's going to look. So it will light up, and it is red, and I think that's going to go. I'm going to go with it. I die cut this the little nose out of a piece of vellum, and then I colored the back of it with a red marker and glued it to my nose. But, of course, my nose, I also punched a hole in it. And I punched a hole in the backing here. So now we've got where the light does go through the nose. You can see that. So that I think is going to be fabulous. Um, however, I think what I'm also going to do is cut another of these circles. So it's going to be double thick. And like I said, we've got this fabulous foam tape that we're able to remove. I'm going to go ahead and do that so I can do another layer on there so it's going to block more of the light from coming through the white. Now that is perfect. Okay, now I can add my foam tape from Pear Blossom Press and it's gonna be perfect. But that was very, very useful that I was able to, use, it was able to remove the tape when, yeah, I had an issue. Love, love, love that. Okay, let's go ahead and finish getting this put together and then we can get it mounted to our card. Before I do that though, I am going to trim this down a little bit and of course I've got to test it again. Yes, the little nose lights up. So I'm going to trim the panel down a little bit because I like mine to have a little bit of a white border. So we're going to cut this down to four by five and a quarter, which is a quarter inch smaller than an A2 size card base. Oh, that's going to be lovely. Fabulous. Let's go ahead and glue all of this down and then I can work on the sentiment.
Another great thing about the foam tape is how easy that the release paper comes off. Okay, I'm gonna just center this right in the middle of my card. There we go. And it still lights up. Look at that, that is just too cute. I love it. Okay, um, I also have some flowers that were in the die set that I'm gonna go ahead and add to my little deer as well. But the big thing is I need to create a sentiment. We do have in this die set, we have the season's greetings. I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut those out real quick. So originally I was gonna use the sentiment that's in the die set. However, it is just too big and I couldn't find a place to be able to do it. And I rearranged everything and I took the panel off and started over again. What I, in the end, what I've decided to do is use a little sentiment. Um, I've actually, this is a foiled sentiment that I created using, um, yeah, I just printed it out and did some foiling on it. Uh, looks like my deer is now a little bit crooked because I took him off and moved him around a couple of times. That foam tape is fabulous because you can reposition it. Okay, so that looks like it's now... Looks like he's closer to center now. So that looks good. And then I've got these little flowers that I'm gonna add to the mix as well. Just have to assemble those. There we go. That is going to finish up this. <laughs> okay, that is going to finish up this light up deer card using um, the one light from Pear Blossom Press and her fantastic tape. So um, you guys be sure to check out the playlist to see some more videos where I'm using Pear Blossom Press products, usually making up light up cards. Anyway, and um, I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.